news release just came out today with best hole to date and your stock is up over 50% and everyone's calling me about you, Troy. What is it about these results that have everybody talking about you? Hey, we are we are thrilled with the results today. Uh, this is our second hole from Bar de Fur. It intersected a very significant 121 meter uh, interval uh, with PXRF results uh, estimated at 1.39% nickel equivalent. Um, you know, you drill down into that, you know, there's a 21 meter interval there uh, with over 3%, 3.43% uh, nickel equivalent. Or, you know, if, if you put that in terms of copper, uh, that's about 10.25% uh, copper equivalent um, over that 21 meter interval. So th this is th this is a significant intersection of massive uh, magmatic sulfide mineralization. Of course, we've had the blessing of having a number of people follow you for quite some time that are have always told me this is an amazing project. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions here. We had a headline story about you where they were talking about the potential for nickel and zinc, okay, nickel and zinc. Now, the story today that has the industry also buzzing, of course, has got cobalt, copper, and nickel. So which of these uh, various critical minerals would you think is the catalyst for this much enthusiasm, or is it a combination of all of, all of the five? Yeah, so looking at HPM, okay, HPM is a uh, nickel copper cobalt project. So it's a magmatic sulfide system um, where, you know, the sulfide mineralization contains nickel, copper, and cobalt, all of which are critical minerals, all of which, you know, the world is desperate to find, you know, future development sources of and is in, in desperate need of. Um, what we're focused on right now uh, on our HPM project, which we feel certainly has camp scale potential, but what we're focused on right now is our bar defer zone of mineralization. And that's a zone of mineralization that has known extents of about 315 meters on strike, uh, about 150 meters wide and about 290 meters at depth. Now, the objective of this summer program, of this exploration program this summer was to significantly expand Bardifer. And it was to expand Bardifer um, through, a, through a diamond drilling program. We're two holes into it. Uh, the second hole that we drilled um, it, it is Bardifer 02 that we're talking about today, which was a phenomenal result for us. Now, Bardifer 02 is about 125 meters on strike of the previous best hole at Bardifer. Okay, and that was HPM uh, 0803, which had uh, 50 meters of over 2% nickel equivalent. So what we're seeing from this hole is not only the strength and the grade profile that we're seeing, but we're also seeing that that extends um, over, over a strike length and extending the strike length of that strength and mineralization um, through Bardifer. So it has us extremely excited. So I'm going to step you back, of course. We have a lot of new industry followers from Gen Z calling me, asking me all kinds of interesting, and they're interested in the market, okay? So why should they put Murchison Minerals? They might be saying, is it too late? I mean, the stock, they just put news out this morning. The stock's up over 50%. Can they still get in? Yeah, so what, what I'll speak to there, Tracy, is, is what we're doing moving forward. Okay, so this is two, we've released two holes uh, out of 10. Uh, so we drilled 10 holes at Bartifer. We have more results coming out. Uh, we're currently in the process of, um, of compiling the PXRF results from the remaining drill core. And uh, once we have those results, uh, we'll be able to communicate those to the market. The other component of the exploration program this summer was a prospecting program. So the prospecting was geared towards um, de-risking additional exploration targets on the HPM property. So it's take it's it's getting out and getting onto the ground onto the EM anomalies that we feel are highly prospective and represent uh, near surface nickel sulfide mineralization. So not only do we have drill results coming out, but we also conducted a prospecting program which will be able to communicate the camp scale or district scale potential uh, of the HPM project by the results of that prospecting. So, um, hey, we, we've got, we're, we're just at the start of this thing. Um, we're just getting to work and, and being able to release results at Bartifer. 
And all of that, Tracy, all of that is going to lead into um, defining the mineral resources at, at Bartifer. Um, and we're looking forward to being able to do that in Q1 of next year. Okay, well, very exciting news and results. And I believe for those of you out there who, again, may be scratching your head, what Troy has just replied with is a compliant, friendly commentary to say that they will be putting out news and sharing it with everybody at the same time about the size of the resource. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, drill hole results. Those drill hole results um, will lead into a mineral resource, and, and that's our path forward over the near term, Tracy. Okay, well, very exciting. Congratulations on your news today. And for those of you out there that would like to learn more about Murchison Minerals, please go to their website. And Troy, if you would please uh, do interviews with us at least once a month so we can stay up to speed and understand the Murchison Minerals story better. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome the opportunity, Tracy. Take care.